Welcome to the tour of Food Review UK headquarters. We'll be looking inside our fridge. I'll show you my Lego Marvel collection and my Invincible collection and we'll even show you where we film most of the videos. Hello everyone and welcome to what is sort of MTV Cribs. We're currently in what I would say is probably the echoist room of the house. This is the downstairs. We live in like a townhouse that's so like three floors um, and we rent it. We don't own this place so you know property developers don't get any ideas yeah. And actually this camera angle here literally I don't think I've ever filmed myself from this angle like looking up the stairs but anyway this is the sort of entrance hall and yeah we're going to give you a, a tour of the whole house so cool there's our alarm system so don't go think about burgling us uh yeah this is the entrance hall um i think we'll just do it in order so this is the first room of the house i need to grab that table in a minute actually because i'm about to film a video um right this is the first room this is one of my lego rooms so i'm very lucky and i've got two rooms for all of my uh, awesome stuff all of my collections so this particular room houses pretty much like my my actual loose lego collection which is all in those boxes and these boxes here and i've got instruction manuals piled everywhere uh, and there's other sort of memorabilia. Uh, it's also got my graphic novels and my comics. So I've got like the ultimate Marvel graphic novel collection here. Um, and then in each of these little windows there's like quite a lot of Marvel Lego. You can even see some, some Batman Lego there with the Dark Knight. And then against the back wall we've got a nice awesome big uh, Ninjago display. Uh, we've got the Avengers Donut that I won at Legoland. If you've not seen me win this, you have to check out our vlog. It's such a good moment. Yes? There's one more. <laughs> oh mate, I'm not going to vlog it. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is where I house all of my Lego Marvel stuff. So my big Lego Marvel collection. I've actually applied for a Guinness World Record for the largest collection of Lego Marvel minifigures. I'm waiting to hear back from them to see the next steps. Um, basically you have to pay, you have to submit your idea and application for the record and pay for it. Um, and then they'll start, they'll say, oh yeah, it is a valid record. Now we need to verify if you're actually the record holder. So it's that sort of thing. There's my Spider-Man minifigures. I've got a couple of sort of customs there. That entire Oscorp, not quite finished on top, but that is entirely custom. And then this uh, Avengers Tower. So this bit here is the real set. And then I built the rest of it, which I'm really happy with. And then we come down here. We actually sort of live next to a footpath. And so all of the people on the footpath, I thought I'd put on a display for them. Uh, some of this stuff gets sun damaged. So I don't put like the best stuff here. But I do have this little display, which is like from Avengers Infinity War when Thor does the stuff, you know. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. Standing at the other end of the room now. It's not a very big room, I have to say. You've got my custom Galactus in the window there. And then this is sort of, I mean, look at this. This is a bit weird. This is sort of like my DC section there. Some of my DC models. And uh, up here is the main portion of my Lego Marvel minifigure collection. Um, this thing is so so heavy like I can't even describe it um a lot of these are custom a lot of these are purest custom so uh, if you're watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier at the moment you might recognize Baron Zemo that is a custom figure obviously because he doesn't even have a face he's just got a pink head um oh Mephisto for all you WandaVision theorists out there um so yeah a lot of these are custom like those couple but uh but most of them are actually real minifigures like all of the time heist costumes are all real. Um, yeah, cool. Let's move on to the rest. Of, well, we we spent a lot of time in that room. So I, I need to explain. When, when I need to explain something. When you see Lego, right? When you see Lego, that was me that did that. And then when you see sort of stars or lanterns or I I don't know what that. Is, but that's Claire. Okay, so that's the that's the difference. Uh, this is like our back room. This is where we keep 
sort of cleaning products, recycling, um, books that we're going to recycle or, or gift or, or whatever, you know, our coats, our shoes, in, including my incredible Nike shoes. Uh, I made a video addressed to Nike saying, please send me these shoes. Uh, they didn't, so I bought them like any normal human would. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, obviously there's more Lego in here. Um, this is where my Lego Star Wars collection is, basically. So obviously you'll see all of this stuff is Star Wars. And then I've got Jedi, Sith, and random custom minifigures here with all with their lightsabers showing. And then up here, that's not Star Wars, but it's just one of my favourite sets of all time. Because I really like the, it's like a glow-in-the-dark moon section with these coloured crystals on. And it all, like, moves. So I really like the way that looks. And then we've got various ships from Star Wars with a few fake Lego. I think that's Creo on the end to the Transformers. Um, but yeah, and this uh, Hoover is absolutely fantastic. Far cheaper than a Dyson. It's very lightweight. Um, what brand is it? That brand. Rodimo, is it? Yeah, buy that from Amazon if you're looking for a vacuum cleaner. Highly recommended. And then in here, I've got a bathroom. Um, it's just, I say a bathroom, it's a toilet actually. It's just, there's just a toilet in there, guys. Hasn't been used. Well, it has, but I mean, it hasn't been used now. Like, there's not a floater in there, is what I mean. Lantern on the stairs. Another lantern on the stairs. And now we reach the second floor. So, we walk into the living room. This is the living room. You can see some awesome posters on the wall. You can see some of our Blu-ray collection and some of our photos. I say, actually, I say Blu-rays. Most of them are actually video games, aren't they? Let me know in the comments if you like video games. There's my small Metroid Amiibo collection, because Metroid is one of my favourite franchises. And then there's our Marvel Cinematic Universe Blu-rays on the bottom shelf. There's my Switch. So yeah, look how cool these posters are, guys. So as I said, we don't own this house, which means we can't like put up nails or anything like that, or shelves. So these are on with those, what are they called? I can't remember. But there's this brand that make these strips that allow you to fix things to the wall without causing damage. Um, there's our TV, sort of most important part of our lives, I suppose. And then this is it, guys. This is where we film most of the videos that appear on the channel. The reason that I filmed them here is because it's got really good lighting from the window. Um, nice big window and yeah, it's just comfortable. I've got my little shelf where I keep all my stuff on. Claire's very kind. Claire's um, gone out for a walk. So uh, she's very kindly left me my earbuds so that I can play Among Us later with the guys. I'm going to be on the old Discord. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of Among Us videos actually. You should check them out. They are absolutely hilarious. In fact... This moment, what Gulliver said the other day, and then my follow-up just had us all in stitches. Okay. Everyone in uh, everyone in my family seems to be buying freaking hot tubs at the moment. Really? <laughs> yeah, my sister's got one. My mum and dad have just bought one. Jesus. God knows. What, what? Sorry? Hot tubs. I oh, thought you said hot, hot dogs. dogs. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you want to give me hot dog money, I won't say no to that either. Bit of people soup in it. I'm not. I don't like the idea of them. There's a bath outside with your nan, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> and then here's my desk. This is where at the moment I spend my time working and job hunting. <laughs> um, got a small sort of comic and graphic novel collection in just there. It's primarily stuff that I'm borrowing actually, so that I don't get it confused with my own collection. Um, and then look at this awesome Uncle MJ, because uh, we're, we're reasonably uh, recently renewed... Um, Renewed auntie and uncle because uh, of young Brody there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. In fact, I didn't shout out my minifigures here. So, Sam, my friend Sam got me that one on the left, which is obviously one of me. Um, an absolutely brilliant present. And if you want to hear more from Sam, check out Dice and Desire. It's our Dungeons and Dragons podcast. It's absolutely brilliant. It's really getting rave reviews. So, you can hear more about him and his character Krill in that. And then there's uh, my favourite Spidey Man, Spidey Man, <laughs> brilliant, 
my favourite Spider-Man costume was recently released as a minifigure. So at the moment I've been displaying that just there. You'll also obviously be seeing Easter stuff everywhere. We've obviously decorated for Easter. It's uh, Easter Saturday, that's not a thing. It's the day before Easter Sunday today. Um, and then there is the Disney Castle, one of my absolute favourite Lego sets of all time. It's awesome that that sits pride of place in our living room. Along with some funny Easter decorations right now. Let's go into the kitchen! So yeah, this is the kitchen. Um, if we look behind the door, we've got a little MJ and Claire shrine. So our wedding was invincible themed. Um, so there's our like wedding plan. There's some like Lego models of Claire and I that we made. And uh, yeah, some lovely photos and just memories from the day and sort of have you seen some some sort of Beauty and the Beast bits there as well. Uh, then there's a table. We used to eat dinner here. We don't anymore. <laughs> we eat on our laps. We've eaten on our laps for pretty much all of lockdown. In fact, I don't know where. Yeah, I think it's basically since lockdown happened that we just. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it even changed. Also, over lockdown, we got into cocktails. So we got a bar and we filled it with uh, all of the typical sort of things that you would expect to see in a bar. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Black. That is an absolutely incredible drink. Uh, really tasty coffee liqueur. So I highly recommend that. Um, but yeah. I haven't had one for, well, I hadn't had one for a while, but then actually, more recently, I've been having a couple. Just got some cocoa bitters as well. And then I'm tucking myself into the corner to have a look at the fridge. If you want to have a look at this in more detail, I think I did actually do a video where I looked at all of these. It's basically all of the on-ride photos that I've collected from over the years um, in magnet form. So that's good. Now, I did promise that we'd look inside the fridge, not walk into it. Uh, let's do that now. After I film this house tour, I'm going to do a video of old Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Zero, with the new Coke Zero Sugar. This is the old one, isn't it? I haven't, like, accidentally bought the, the new one. Yeah, I'm sure it's the old one. It came in the old packaging. It says 2020 on there. I wonder if this one says 2021. Yeah, it does. If the packaging wasn't an indicator than that would be. Um, so we've got loads of drinks in this bottom section that I want to review, which is gonna be incredible. Uh, if you watch our vlogs, you'll know that I made cookies um, at, the we at the weekend. No, I made cookies yesterday. So we've got some cookie dough here, which is awesome. That was like brown butter cookies. Uh, we have got the fabled KFC mayonnaise in there, which uh, I made for April Fool's Day. And yeah, there's just, all there's just so many drinks there that we're gonna do awesome videos for like the new and old ka strawberry we got leftover papa john's we had papa john's last night we're trying this for the first time we are lurpak addicts not addicts but we are Lur Lur lurpak loyalists but i thought we'd try president because it was on special offer um yeah and then bloody blue fanta big thank you to claire's family for giving us a Easter package, Easter bundle. I think this is from various people, so thank you. Um, and then we've got some more on-ride photos on the side of the fridge. Stuff in cupboards. There's the cookies that I made yesterday. I made a few different kinds. The one that's in the fridge is the browned butter uh, chocolate chip, but uh, I also made peanut butter. Wow, there's so much butter vision in this video. Here is the glasses that I've set up for the uh, Coke Zero Sugar experiment, which I'll be doing shortly. And yeah, so this is the kitchen, guys. This is where I cook, and uh, yeah. I say I cook, I mean Claire does some of the cooking. Sort of, uh, yeah, she, she um, yeah. Right, let's move up to the, well, you don't want to look in there, it's just airing cupboard. Normal airing cupboard stuff in there. Yo no. This is where we keep our bags. And now we enter the third floor. Now the landing does have towels on at the moment. We are you know, washing the towels as, as is good to do. Uh, let's go in the bathroom first, you know. Boring bathroom, innit? Yeah, toilet, you know, this you defecate in there or whatever. There's a bath. Yeah, nice, looks good. Amenities in there. Let's save that room for last and go into Claire and I's bedroom. 
So this is the bed. Um, we used to have all the little ones, all of our little children little ones on the bed. But uh, we've got this new little one prison. Yeah, I'm not too keen on it to be honest. I think it's, I think it's a little bit like childhood. I mean, look at Peach there. That's sad, man. I think it's like little one prison. Um, so I'm not too sure about it. Because not only are they all poking out there, the little, little ones. But we've got bigger little ones beneath here that you can't even see. Look at that. So, I don't know, man. It's a, I think it's a bit child abusey, but... Look, there's me. Hello. That's in our big mirror. Uh, loads of people ask, what are these? Like, they, we filmed a few videos recently where, I've, where the camera's set up over here. And so they see the, like a glimpse of the ears in the background. So loads of people ask what they are. They are Mickey Mouse ears. They're, it's Claire's Mickey Mouse ears collection from Disneyland and Disney World across the years. Got a little bedside table there. There's Claire's makeup table. And then in the corner of the room, of the blip blip blip, in the corner of the room, that is our old TV. Now I'm opening the door to the ensuite. Uh, we've got a shower in there, so that's where I shower. Oh, there's another mirror. Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. Um, i got skin problems in my beard, so I really recommend this brand. L'Oreal Men Expert Barber Club. Um, I use head and shoulders, and then we've got other, other stuff there. Good. Fine, and then there's, you know, I use this, this product in my hair. So if you, if you want to copy how I look, that's... Right, I've just seen the toilet's not been flushed. That's embarrassing. Always keep toilet flushed. That is a good, good rule, especially when you're filming a video. But guys, you know, that's life. So, oh, there's brilliant. It's towel washing day, so I can't even, I can't dry off my wet hand. But yeah, always keep things flushed. Right, good. Now we're going to travel into my second room. This is the final room. Um, so I hope you enjoy this last portion of the video. Uh, this is a very jam-packed room, I have to say. It's got a built-in wardrobe and there's a couple of posters that I've got on the side of there. Uh, this is uh, where I keep a lot of my unopened Lego sets. So this big box has got all unopened sets in and then there's several down here as well. There's some of my Ninjago trading card collections as well. And a small portion of my Lego Ninjago collection is here as well, including one of my favourite sets of all time, the, uh, the Destiny's Bounty from the movie. Ah, I've also got the Spider-Gwen Shrine here as well. Stepping into the room a bit more, I will pivot around and show you yet more of me. I'm wearing green socks, deal with it. If we have a look on this little desk thing here. This is actually a fairly recent like change. I basically made this sort of almost workshop system with this shelf system. Brilliant. I uh, just got a bit of wood from B&Q and put that sort of on there. Uh, and we've moved the gauntlets. The gauntlets used to be in the living room. Uh, but we, yeah, sort of had to move them or whatever. This is really cool because this is some some rarer comics books that I've got that I'm going to send off to CGC to get graded. CGC, they basically grade the comic to say how mint condition is and they put it in a case. So I've got like the first appearance of Silk there, things like the first appearance of Jane Foster as four, and like the first appearance of Spider-Gwen first printing. So yeah, I'm thinking about getting them sent off to CGC soon, so I'm just keeping them there for now, popping them on top of it so it doesn't get sun damaged. Lovely. As you can see, not all of my Marvel collection has escaped. Sorry, not all of my Marvel collection is, is maintained downstairs. Uh, I've got the Iron Man collection here, which is pretty cool. I'm sure you will agree. There's another uh, design of my own creation is this little gallery. Obviously, it's based on the, the ones that you see in the films. I've got my 100 movies bucket list poster, which I got a couple of years ago. Um, I haven't ticked off everything that I've seen. I've actually filled in most of these blanks now. I'm down to like, I'm down to actually there. Um, yeah, there, Lawrence of Arabia, that one there. Um, so I've got about 20, 20 films or so left to watch. 
if we pan up slowly from there we can see more of the collection uh, now this room is primarily ninjago so basically all of that stuff um, and this stuff here is all like my ninjago collection i've basically got every minifigure that they've made of the main ninja thus far and i really like this year to celebrate the 10th anniversary of ninjago they've done special golden ninja and there's two more to collect which is zane and nia uh, which is the white ninja and the grey ninja uh, or the the uh, she's grey in azure um, and they come out in a few months then if we pan down slightly from my uh, awesome ninjago collection we see my invincible collection so invincible is a series that's just started on amazon prime it's absolutely brilliant uh, and the comic is my favorite thing ever so i've got like my full run and I've got almost all of the variants. Unfortunately, I'm missing the rarest couple of variants, one of which is about £1,000 plus, probably £1,500. Um, and that will probably only increase over the years um, whilst the show gains popularity. So I'm very unlikely to actually complete the run ever. But in any case, there's my collection. And I've got action figures and uh, little pops and all that sort of thing. And then up here I've got my Lego, sorry, Lego, brilliant, I've got my Marvel action figure collection, along with just my action figure collection in general. I've got all my Green Lantern stuff at the top there, and some Power Rangers as well, as you can see. But yeah, mainly it's the Marvel stuff. And I only really collect Spider-Man figures. There's all, all mainly Spider-Man villains, Spider-Man heroes, and a few extra characters. I guess last thing is just to show you inside the wardrobes. Loads of Marvel clothes, which is unsurprising. PlayStation clothes, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I haven't even shown you everything, to be honest, but yeah. I probably could have made this video like two hours long, but I am gonna call it a day there. It's something like, it's probably been like half an hour, I don't even know. I've uh, taken breaks whilst filming, so I, I genuinely don't know how long that was. But thank you for sticking with us for the full video. I hope you enjoyed that room tour. I can't remember who requested it. Someone requested it recently. Anyway, that is it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. That was this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.